Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. But what about a 12-year-old? Harrison Ramsey, H, is on a mission to eradicate meaningless business speak and wants to know what the guest does for a living. If the guest clearly describes their craft or job, they win. If not, they'll have time to further explain and will know that they need to hone in their pitch. Hi, I'm Dr. Carolyn Lawrence. I am an instructor at Chattahoochee Technical College and I teach humanities and I'm also a poet and author. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen in this interview, so I am just as curious to see what happens as you are. You have one minute. I'm Harrison Ramsey. Carolyn Lawrence. Good to meet you. Uh, what do you do? A little bit of everything. What is um, the main thing you do? The main thing, I like to corrupt the youth of America. What was? Through teaching. Through teaching? You're a teacher. Do you like grade or do you teach in a grade level? I teach college. College? Mm-hmm. Uh, se senior, junior, what? Oh, I teach basically uh, freshmen and sophomores. It's a two-year college. Um, so what makes you unique about a teacher? Everyone knows what a teacher does, but what makes you unique about what you do? Oh, I'm not sure I'm unique. I may just be average. Everyone's unique. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, you're right. Everybody is unique. I teach humanities, and humanities is basically the study of the creative side of history. So what you do, you teach humane... Humanities. Yeah, humanities. humanities. Mm -hmm. And can you go in more, more in depth of what that is? Humanities is basically the study of uh, the development of artistic and uh, cultural aspects of history. So it's how people respond to uh, economic, political, and social events through a creative medium, through art, through literature, music, sculpture. It's basically how we interpret our everyday life through a creative medium. medium. Uh, so when you are a kid, what was your favorite subject? Oh, all of them, really, I, except math. Yeah. I'm not, no, I'm not a very good, I'm, although I, I find that I'm really, I'm actually really good at math. I don't really like it. I mean, the exact same way I'm pretty good at math, but it's yeah. so boring. I know, right? Don't ever do anything fun in that class. Oh. I had nuns, because I went to Catholic school, mm -hmm. and they used to uh, hit us with rulers, so. But that was back in the day. Back in the day. Well, a long time ago. What, you, I don't know if you answered my question. I'm sorry. Um, what makes you unique about being a teacher? Uh, what makes me unique? I try to just be me and that me is, um, as I pointed out, surly sometimes. Um, what but does surly mean? <laughs> abrasive and such. Um, but I'm, I, I like to be funny and I like to have a good time when I teach because um, if you cannot get people to laugh with you while you're engaging them, then they're not going to really be engaged. Um, and so you want to put as much of yourself into the material as you possibly can. And uh, I liked to do strange things like color. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I know it's a college class, but we do color. Um, we play with clay. We do sidewalk talk. Um, but it applies to the, to the material that we are discussing. And so, um, you know, I have no problem doing that because to me this helps students to fully engage with the ideas of what we're covering in class. And while, you know, we can't go out and build the Parthenon, mm -hmm. per se, the, the Parthenon is actually the Greek temple to Athena in Athens. It's their main temple on the Acropolis. So while we can't go out and physically build that because it's made out of marble, it yeah, would be, be expensive. Yeah, expensive and very time consuming. But we can do it, you know, through blocks or, you know, we can build it with paper. So we get the experience of, you know, trying to be like the ancient Greeks and build something, um, but with modern materials. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'd be much faster building that now. Yes, than and, and nobody really dies in, in those cases. So, you know, maybe if somebody gets a paper cut, mm -hmm. that might be the worst injury. So. Um, so what are some pluses about your job? I get to meet some really fantastic people. 
I have some really great students. They're terribly creative and they're terribly clever and I'm completely envious of some of them because they're really, really talented. Um, and it makes me happy to see that I can um, encourage them in their artistic mediums. Um, other, one, other times I get to see students who are very apprehensive about what they can do uh, artistically speaking and I give them the opportunity to explore that without true judgment. It's just, I'm, I'm really one of those who's just like, please try and then whatever you give me, I'm so ecstatic that you've given it to me and uh, very positive about what they do that uh, they see that they can do things and that's what I like. I like to see students leave my class with a, a new sense of confidence about what they can accomplish and, and not be scared of art or you know drawing, sculpture, whatnot. Um, so what are some fun things you do with your class? Oh, let's see. I've had, um, there's a, a group within, uh, down in Kennesaw actually, that uh, they do creative anachronism, which is basically they role play uh, historical periods and they you know do the full dress up um, they hold uh, jousting matches and things like that and they've come out to my class several times and I've got to watch my students uh, do medieval dancing which is terribly funny because they absolutely hate it to begin with and then they're all into the dancing and uh, whatnot afterwards so I uh, you know we do things like that I've had I'm going to have a dance troupe come out this semester and uh, teach them uh, battle dances like uh, what is it the the haka which is what the New, New Zealanders do the warriors would do before battle to intimidate the other side and they would actually do it both sides would do it to each other but um, so we're gonna look at that we're I mean so I try to think of different things for my students to do. They do a scavenger hunt, um, they do art projects, they do, sometimes they do historical Facebook pages where they pick a historical person and then design a Facebook page as if they were that person and they have to interact with other historical people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just, I try to make it as interesting as possible. Um, what college is it? It's Chattahoochee Technical College. Awesome. And I have heard the rumor that your birthday was two days ago? <laughs> it was indeed. It was the 24th, yes. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. No problem. Thank you for having me. She seemed pretty chill. I would love to have her a teacher. She seems very nice. Better go check her out at Chattahoochee Technical College, and uh, she seems pretty awesome. The first part of her pitch was kind of slow, it, um, which I don't blame her. She was picking on me. But uh, I get that a lot from my parents. But she uh, was kind of slow and then built it up. But once she started building it up, it was definitely way better. Thank you, Miss Lawrence, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I had no expectations because I really wasn't sure. I just knew that this was an interview and that I was going to be interviewed by a 12-year-old. And that was it. So I was just kind of really willing to to go with it and um, and see what happens. It was quite an enjoyable experience. Um, very intelligent young man. And uh, you know, it's, it's like when I go into my classes on the first day, I have absolutely no expectations of who's gonna be in there or, um, you know, I just, I allow them to dictate what happens and, and what I end up expecting out of them. Uh, particularly after the first day because uh, for me I base my judgment after I've met somebody and allowed them to ex you know uh, engage with me and that's what H did and uh, so now if I would do this again my expectation would be I would have a very good interview you would ask very intelligent questions and we would have a lot of fun and it would be something that I would do completely again um. Now, we always get everybody to say thanks for having me on uh, Macy and sharing them before. Um, it was nice meeting you, Harrison. Thanks for having me. This was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> thanks for having me, Harrison. I really enjoyed it. Hello, everybody. This is H. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Um, the next video is right here, and the previous video is right here. Thank you.